<laughs> How cool was it to play with Prince? I think, I mean, I've asked you this question before, but you know, he was such an iconic artist. Oh my gosh. One of the big, art, biggest artists of all time. Yeah. How much fun was that gig? And how much the pressure most. was that gig too? I mean, did, did you, was it, was it kind of both those things at the same time on a, any given night? Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so much fun, the most fun. Um, what was really cool and something that I admired about Prince so much was that it was not only this iconic artist, right. but a, an amazing musician. Sure. And a lot of people that only know him from pop radio and just sort of the Purple Rain era and, and as he was coming up as sort of an R&B or pop artist, they don't necessarily know about the musicianship that was behind this person. But like every musician that I talk to, it's they understand sure. of the the vastness of who this guy is as a musician, whether it's on piano or bass or drums or vocally or guitar. He was phenomenal. Right. So our shows really had the opportunity to open up and you, we just jammed for hours and hours and it, it really took it back to the good old days where there was no clicks or tracks or tapes that kind of locked you into loops and certain structures. Our songs were just open-ended and guitar solos could have gone on forever and ever. And it was really this conversation that was so beautiful and this chemistry that was amazing on stage. And no night was the same. You just never knew what you were gonna get with him, but it was always fun, it was always exhilarating. And I mean, you wanna talk about pressure. Yeah, I mean, the guy was known for having a very high standard of excellence sure. and um, just demanded a lot from his musicians, but we were also a well-oiled machine. We rehearsed all day, every day, even if there wasn't another gig booked, we were working 24 seven, basically. I think honestly, I didn't feel as much pressure from him directly as much as I felt pressure following uh, John Blackwell. And just, I mean, yeah, he was you know, great being sort of the next drummer to fill that amazing seat. Sure. Uh, that's where I felt the most pressure. And it was all personal, you know, it was, yeah. it was me. JB was super gracious and helped me a lot and kind of took me under his wing. Um, as we were kind of transitioning and, you know, I was this young 22 year old kid who honestly had never really played funk, didn't spend a lot of time on funk. I grew up in the rock scene right. and very much just a heavy hitter, studied some jazz in college and a little bit in high school. And that's really where I came from. So when I jumped on this gig with Prince and he's obviously so proficient in the funk genre and just with everything, but, He's so heavily driven and influenced by funk. I remember John just kind of sitting me down and taking me through a catalog of songs and artists. And I was just like, who's that? Who's this? And he just, his jaw was dropped <laughs> in astonishment that I had no clue what this stuff was. And I probably won't admit it just because now I'm like looking at young players now, like you don't know who the Gap Band is. You know, you don't know what you don't know. Sure. Until you know. Yeah, you gotta and learn. It's gotta come across sometimes. So yeah. it was, I'm so grateful for that time and I learned so much. There was this beautiful mix of pressure, but also preparation that helped ease the pressure. Sure. And it was just so fun when, when we got on the road.